And we're back. Okay, so, four o'clock in the morning, Kolaris and Arya leave the Eye of Bahala. Uh, which shrine are you going to? Ooh. We're closer to the temple, right? Then. Uh, no, the gate is probably closer. Oh. Just there? Sorry, say that again? I guess there. Okay. Sorry. Uh, cool. Then I guess if the two of you would like to come with me. Oh, mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. TTFN. Here we go. Okay. Oh, God. Hello. Hello. Yeah. So, uh, how, how are the two of you going about this? Uh, I'm just following Kolaris' lead. Honestly. I don't know. I really... I don't know what we're looking for. I don't know what she's looking for. What, are you are you sort of lurking in the shadows to wait for somebody to turn up? Or are you just sort of hanging about? Or Oh, I mean, like, I don't want to be creepy about it. I had no plan of being in the shadows. Just kind of there. Well, this is why I'm asking. Yeah. You know what? I haven't had dedicated prayer time to Tritherian in a while. <laughs> It sounds really time. weird to say that. Well, but it looks less weird if I'm at a shrine and not just That's standing real. there really weirdly. No, I, okay. I totally feel you. So you were just going to sort of kneel down in front of the shrine and pray? Yeah. Okay. What are you doing, Which... Aya? Um, I, I don't know. It's not like I've prayed a Tritherium, so... Is there like anywhere to sit that's not? Uh yeah, you can you could find a bench to sit on. Yeah, I'll just do that. Okay. You just sit on the bench, like Lyra just like yeah. lies down next to you. Oh yeah. I think I probably will scratch on the ear. Mm-hmm. So, uh two of you give me perception checks. Okay. Oh, wow, you got better than I did. That's barely. Awful. Yeah, but I have a plus five. I rolled a two. <laughs> okay, that's that's fair. That's fair. Of course. Okay. So, Kalaris, you're kneeling there in prayer, with your eyes closed for the moment, and if it weren't for the fact that all of a sudden you just like you just had to like rub your eye for a second. Uh, you open your eye and somehow, without making a sound, uh, somebody has basically like walked up next to you and is placing a piece of folded paper in the tribute bowl. And uh, as you look up, watching you, uh, watching you closely, like sort of out of the the corner of their eye, or at least you assume it's the corner of their eye because it's a little bit difficult to tell. Uh, there is a small tiefling girl. In the bushes? No, standing right next to you. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, it's, what's her name? <laughs> I know, we need to find out. <laughs> um, she's just looking at me. Kind yes. Of. She's like okay. watching you, because like, you're a bit strange, and I'm just putting this in. Um, sorry, not to... Can I ask you a couple of questions about, I guess, the city and Chasmol in particular? Give me a persuasion check. Oh boy. <laughs> I should probably introduce myself. <laughs> Wait, I introduce myself. I say I'm Kalaris first. Okay. Just because I'm not. Give me a persuasion anyone. check. I will. Okay. I can persuade. That's yeah. the only thing um... I'm good at. Not a combat. Uh, the, basically the, 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 the first reaction of this girl upon you talking to her is to just freeze. No. Um, uh, but then she sort of, she un unfreezes and sort of nods. Just 
just... Um, Ike nods the affirmative to, yes, you can ask questions. Okay. Um, what... I was my first question was gonna be why are there so many shrines and I was like Jayla that's a really dumb question also <laughs> Clark can ask that because she kind of figures it out. Um, what? Why the offering notes? I guess. Like gestures to the bowl because she assumes that they're notes. Yeah. Of... She can't read them. They're prayers. Oh. Written out? You don't say them? Nods. Why so early in the I have to work during the day. I guess that makes sense. I, s I see others that temples to the other god day though is that really you're cut out a little bit you might need to speak up oh sorry i i was saying i see people at temples to the other gods during the day though um she looks like um she looks like almost shy for a moment. Oh, no. Um Give me an insight check. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Oh, no. She she looks like nervous, uncomfortable for some reason. Um and just sort of says, "Yeah, but we have to work." don't have time during the day. What sort of work do you do then? Looking out to the house, making sure everything is clean, making food. Out of not I, I like this isn't something I, I'm asking her, but this is just some to to clarify. Does it look like she's of an age where people would use, like to usually be working, or is she like weirdly um young? She's like twelve, thirteen, which tieflings age at the same rate as humans. So she's very much like still a young child. Is that an unusual age for people to be? Like, um, not in not in poor society, no. Because you were you were you worked from a very young age, right? But that's just because right. you had to because you needed to do the tasks, right? Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't. I, it was more to try to figure out like if this was something weird that she's talking about having to work at this sort of age. Um, not weird. It just it tells you a lot about her. She is quite clearly poor. Right, right. Yeah, I just I didn't know like how um, young we were talking. So although uh, having said that, the dress she is wearing is quite nice. Oh, could be she works with someone who's rich. I am. I think how to, how Kalaris would word a question. Did you choose the work that you have? She, she looks at you kind of strangely and says, Of course not. What do you mean? I don't know if he's on flame. Well, she, no. she reaches out to you and shows, like, she's got a little metal bracelet on. Fuck. Oh no! This is what I was worried about! Fucking slavery. It's... Ugh. Yeah, like, she she shows you this little metal bracelet, and she says, um, uh, we're indentured. God. Damn it. Um, 
damn it! No! No! <laughs> I didn't so. want to mess with the city! They're not- no, they're not the technically slaves. No, yeah, but no, not. They're just slaves to an insurmountable debt. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like, it's still not- You'd still yeah. incredibly not cool with it, yes. Yeah. Oh, man. You can overhear the majority of this conversation, by the way, are you? I am actually so. Yeah. Who, uh... So when you say we, is it you and your family, or...? Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to straight up ask like, is it or is this the case for all of the tieflings in the city? But I already have like, Kalaris already has a a feeling that things might be similar for a lot of tieflings because of what I immediately forgot his name, but the one that works at the Eye of. Uh yes, the Eye of. He, I don't think he ever told you his name. Oh okay, maybe he didn't say. It, but I remember. I remember hearing him say mistress, and that like. Yeah. Ticked the wrong direction, so I'm a little concerned about that, but I don't really know how to ask that without just straight up saying, uh, is that the case for a lot of the, like, for all the teams here? I, guess, I mean, I guess you that's, say that. that's would totally the question. That. Yeah. yeah. I, know, I just don't want to say it that way. Uh, yeah, she, she nods and says, yeah, a lot of them. That's why we pray. I don't mean to pry, but what I can't. I wouldn't try to read any stuff behind. Me. Sure, they're private, but are they too just small, particular, or? She nods. Have you ever heard of somebody called Tritherian? Shakes head. Okay, that's that's interesting. Wait, she's not a temple to Tytherian. No, she said a, there's a shrine. This is a shrine to Jasmal. Oh, okay, right. Right, and like, I don't... I'm trying to figure out if basically any of her ties to Tritherian have been lost or erased over time. Which is kind of seeming to be the case. Quite possibly lost in translation, yes. Yeah, or like, just kind of happened that this is the icon she's become, but she's not really tied back specifically to Tritherian anymore. Which isn't really the worst thing, she still embodies the idea, so it's not like a big deal. Hmm. You get, yeah, like, the the idea of of a champion of Tritherian being worshipped as a saint is an odd one, but it's not unusual. But for them to be completely isolated from Tritherian and worshipped as a saint, regardless, is it, it doesn't quite jam with you in quite the way that it should, but it's... It's not like it doesn't like upset you. Right, right. Do you know somebody who might be able to tell me about just more history of the city? Or could you even? Um She sort of like shakes her head and sort of says, um, I don't really know that much. Um, I could try to find somebody. If it wouldn't be a lot of trouble, I'd really appreciate that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't let that go uh, unrecognized. Should have thinks to herself. If you come here in. I don't know, maybe two days? I can try and find somebody. And if not, I'll come back. Okay, I really appreciate that. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your... Uh, she she smiles at you and, like, offers a little curtsy and says, I'm Maul. God! No! <laughs> oh I can't believe it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind. Very nice to meet you, and I think Kalaris 
puts on a hand to <laughs> shake okay. hers. She sort of like looks at it and is like, okay. I'm losing my goddamn mind right now. I'm also losing my goddamn mind. Um, that's Arya, by the way. She's also a friend. <laughs> she sort of waves at you. Oh yeah, I wave back. I can't, I can't believe this. Oh my I god. I can't believe after all these years. <laughs> it's time. I, I did say. I did say she was okay. out there somewhere. That's true. You did say that. Uh. Okay. Well, thank you. I'm sorry. I don't want to keep you from. She nods and sort of like turns away. Can I actually before she goes? Can I hand her a piece of gold for helping? Oh. Stuff? Okay. You you hold out the the gold to her and she sort of says. Uh, no, I can't. At least not even small can cheat. Uh, not even to get something nice for you and your family. If they find out they have it, they'll just take it. Let's let's put it this way. If you ever need anything and I'm still in the city, you can find me or leave a message from the Eye of Paula. Is that what? It, that's how you say it. Yeah. Yeah. She dove nods oh. and says, okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, she goes. Bring food for her next time. Okay. I guess you guys go back. Yes. Okay. Then, so, yeah. then we will. <laughs> Unless you guys uh, want to say something to each other in I private. I just want to Okay. Well, I finally think... found our girl, but she's I know. still <laughs> I know. I think actually, but in regards to that, I kind of look at Arya and say, "Do you think there's anything? Do you think there's anything we can do without bringing the entire system of the city crashing down?" Uh, I mean, it, from the look of things, probably not. I mean, Ugh. I know it looks like this place is deeply embedded in that system of uh, basically slavery. Without, here I was. I mean, without what? Without, yeah, without disrupting like the whole system. I don't, I don't know how we could do anything. And here I was hoping that Josmal's work had held throughout the years, but maybe there's still ways to change it for the better. I mean, hopefully. We should get back. <laughs> yep. Okay, you turn back. Yeah. Oh <gasps> god! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no! Ah! will not even believe who we just met. Oh no. Is this in character? Yeah. Okay oh, then. No. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. No? Not, okay. not in character. But... Okay. You know what though, I realized it was. It was us, as well. It was, yeah. It was, so... I know, yeah. What does that I, even mean? What? <laughs> <laughs> you'll see, you'll, you'll, you'll learn. Okay. I'm, I'm just gonna... So I'm, vague about it. I'm, I'm just gonna... Mean. I'm just gonna wait this out. Okay. So yeah, you guys are all awake in the morning. Good morning! <laughs> well, I guess we best... Yet? Get sort of packing to get going for now. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Are there any plans for this morning? Uh, I think it was just headed out to try to find the, uh, yeah, we're the, cold, the cold people. Way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well. Are we there yet? Are we like with the group? Yes. Well, oh, okay. you came back. By the time we woke you up. came back and then we woke up. <laughs> Presumably. Yeah. Nice. Can I have breakfast together. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you have breakfast. Uh, and so, how are you? G how are you going to go about finding this cult? Wait, aren't you all going to talk about what happened this morning? You didn't fucking ask, did you? Well, it's not my place to ask! Well, did we 
I don't think most of us even knew. Yes, you did. You talked yeah, about no, it. I said. Yeah, you didn't know what tag along. And like, you, you come downstairs and Kalaris and I are like coming back at like 6 o'clock in the morning. Hmm. Well, I mean, if they're, not, if they're not like... If they don't look... I guess we would ask how the morning trip was, but... Yeah. How's your, um, how's your morning stroll? Well... Hmm. I'm trying to think how to, like, <laughs> summarize that. <laughs> Without being like, there's kind of, sort of... A thing. Yeah. Um... You guys didn't do anything wrong, did you? Oh, no. No, we didn't. Not yet. Thank god. Are you sure? Thank god. Yeah, I'm pretty for sure. sure. I think wow. we did anything wrong. Yeah, I mean, uh, we literally just... You had a prayer. I had a prayer, uh, and I talked to... A young... Well, it turns out that, uh... You're right about it being tiefling that go to the shrines a lot. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, and we happened to meet a young tiefling girl while we were there. Oh yeah. my god! Oh my so god! Fuck! What? I can't believe we missed this scene. Fuck! <laughs> I love how everybody yeah. just instantly knew. Yep. Look, you said young tiefling girl. We, we've literally been making jokes about this. <laughs> two years. Uh, two, <laughs> two, two years. Two years! God. Uh, it seems that tieflings in the city, for the most part, are... She said... In... Did she say indentured? Indentured, yes. Yeah, indentured, yeah. yeah. Which okay. is familiar to Vondal, because you know about that. Hmm. I feel like I... Mm. Yes. Yeah? Do you remember? <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, like, mm. I think the words thrown, the wording is throwing me off. My brain's like, what is that word? Indentured. It, uh, yeah. it means work, like, working uh, to repay a debt. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Then yes, I'm pretty sure I remember that. Or details about that. Yes, because you remember the... Uh, let me remember exactly what it is called. Um, uh, yeah, the Heresy of the 4000, when Tieflings first uh, became a thing, uh, and your the Order of the Golden Lion meted out an agreement between Tieflings and humans, so uh, for their crimes against religion, uh, the tiefling families were forced to begin uh, indentured servitude to the the human houses uh, or the human country, uh, like cities that they they came from. And you do know that some of this still goes on to this day, even though technically it's finished. Mm. But it's because like they've accrued life expenses by being like living in a house. And like people have like sustained that onwards, and they just build up an infinite amount of debt, essentially. Hey, so Clarice doesn't know that in character, I don't think, but that's some bullshit. Well, it's the thing. Rondon would probably say, like, so did she explain exactly what that entails? It sounds like she works for a household or a family person. Yeah, yeah it was clearly a nice family because she was dressed very well. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, about about three hundred about three hundred and fifty years ago, the servitude of the four thousand expired. Yeah. Our daughter has come so far. I guess. I know. Yeah, I guess Vondal sort of like looks mostly at Kalaris, but like clearly with a very thinking face, and then <laughs> thinking tells the emoji. Story. Yeah, and then and then tells that story. So now you do know in character. Now I do know in character. That's some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So yeah, in in a way, the Order of the Golden Lion is partially responsible for the indentured servitude of the. Teachers. Huzzah! So, uh, so this should be done already. What you're saying it shouldn't have been. Yes. It shouldn't even have been a well, thing to be. Le but. Legally, it has ended, but uh, many are still continuing onwards because they've accrued a debt over the whatever it is, couple of hundred years that they were serving, and. The, People just like they end up not being able to pay back that debt because they're in, dent in indentured servitude and they just keep accruing debt. Yeah. So they're technically not slaves; they're technically debtors to the family, but functionally. I mean, that's in in my in Claris's eyes, and I'm pretty sure in the Tritharian's eyes, that's basically the same thing. Yes. Um, did Von Dahl make it very clear of the Golden Lions? Uh, involvement. I mean, he's not exactly being like, hey, so the gold lion was involved, but he's not purposefully yeah. excluding it. Okay. Well, it was more just because if if there, if that connection was made, Kalaris will look at Vondal and say, so can you do something about ending? Because that shouldn't be happening. That's not right. I cannot, unfortunately. Then I will know. <laughs> How, but I, yeah, but I was having to be like, and I very much urge, no, plead that you don't take that into your hands. Not, not yet, anyway. If you feel like you have to, hold it back at least a little bit. They shouldn't be serving. People shouldn't be serving others like that. Potentially not. Well, they but, should, but they shouldn't be forced but, to. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Like, if, yeah. There's a difference. Yes. Yeah. I, un I understand your point, but unfortunately, there's nothing I, on my own, can do about it. Yeah. Within, within the eyes of the law, it's all perfectly legal. There'd be a lot of talks and such required before yes. something like this would end or even be or even begin to change and that is something we very much do not have time for but, but okay. i know <laughs> maybe when we become gods we can come back and liberate this back <laughs> too. do not okay so you finish this this conversation. What are you guys doing now? How are you beginning? Well, uh, moving on, we should probably focus uh, on matters at hand, or the matter at hand. Uh, we should probably. Just... I mean, there's two matters at hand. Well, we. There's the cold and the thing. Yeah, the Pretty cult much. though, I think. Yeah, the, the cult thing. Well, I, I was thinking that that was what we're... What the we're more immediate use. matter. That was the... Well, we, we agreed we're going to look at it into it this morning. That's why we decided to get up early. Or, well... Well, yeah. You, some, of the, some of us even earlier. <laughs> but, mm. yeah. Shall we uh, head off? Whilst it's still all outside. Probably a good idea. Yeah. Hopefully we can be there before, um, before the sun sets in too badly. Do we want to try and locate the person that was described to us, or the dagger? Well, how precise can you be? Um, I th think it just functions like the spell, right? First, uh, yeah, it's exactly the spell locate creature. It's... Okay, okay. Hang on then. Uh, the yeah, spells are identical, but like the one is an object, the other is a creature. Oh, yeah, right. okay. yes. Well, this one is uh, describe or name a creature that is familiar to you. Uh, you can sense the direction of the creature's movement as long as that creature is within a thousand feet of you. If the creature is moving, you know the direction of its movement. Uh, you can specify a specific creature or the nearest creature of a specific kind, as long as you have seen the creature up close at least once. 
if the creature you described or named is in a different form, blah 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 blah. blah. So yeah, basically, if you describe it, you uh, you can't get that specific creature, but you can get a uh, the nearest creature of the same type. That's probably the best bet, right? Yeah. So I guess were we pointed towards one direction over the others, like outside of the city, no. or was it just outside the city? Just he knows it's outside the city somewhere. Ah. So okay. I guess we pick one part of outside the city. <laughs> well, I guess we start we start patrolling. Right. Well, I would imagine. Maybe I didn't realize it was this broad. Uh... Well, to be fair, this does last for up to an hour. Oh yeah, yours lasts longer than mine then. Okay. Yeah. But locate but, object like... will only last ten minutes. Yeah, which I guess makes sense because it's not like there's no potential for the there's less potential for the object to be moving. Yeah. Opposed to a creature, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Anyway. So. Well, I guess we'll just uh, activate your uh, your sense thingy and start riding around the city, or like, on the outskirts of the city. Just holding the, <laughs> the fucking... Go out on patrol. In my hand. With magic. Yeah. A and magic patrol. Use it like a dowsing machine. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's be real, that's probably how it works, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. God. Okay. So you... what? You go outside the city, you hold the rod, you cast Locate Creature? Yes. Okay. You... sense uh, a creature of the, the thing you described. Uh, that is... Uh, roughly... Like almost, almost on the very edge of the spell in the distance, moving very rapidly to the east. Okay, guys, to the east. Go east. Okay. Uh, should we bring our mounts? Uh, oh, th at the speed it is moving, the creature is probably mounted. Uh, but we should probably have armor. Um, we've set off with armor. Yeah. yeah. No, we definitely have. Yes. Yeah. yeah you took the time to suit up and everything. Yeah. So you've got all the. Are you bringing companions with you? Because companions might potentially slow you down. Uh, Does Lyra slow us down? Uh, Lyra won't, no, because Lyra has the same movement speed as your horse. I was gonna oh, say. I promised Tudor some free time, so here, here it is. <laughs> here you go! Okay. What about yeah. the Sarah? I think I will ask her to stay behind, just because we don't know what we're getting into in this case. Okay. Also, fast movement speed. Uh, she will reluctantly agree, but she will stay. I'm sorry, I know, I understand. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. Uh, you, you can sustain the spell for an hour, you said, yes? Correct. Okay. Uh, you sustain the spell for an hour, uh, and by the time it fades, uh, you are, it's, you are still getting the same sensation. Okay. I guess I'll just continue to recast it, because I have five charges? Yep. So yeah, I okay. that. You ride, uh, you ride east for another half an hour, and then the creature turns slightly towards the northeast, and continues to ride. Another, another hour passes, the spell ends. Um, continue to cast it and like readjust uh, traveling direction as necessary. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Cast it a third time. Ride for another hour. Christ. As the as the hour comes to a close, you actually detect the creature getting closer to you. It's not moving towards you, but it it has stopped moving and you are continuing to move. Okay. I will. Uh, it seems like uh, whoever it is or whatever it is has stopped. So, I guess within like. I guess either within sight or a hundred feet, we should probably like okay. chill a little. Okay. You right? you get to like uh uh you basically you come over the crest of like a sand dune because you're riding out into the desert essentially. You come to the crest of a sand dune and you look down in front of you and for miles in, uh, from miles in front of you. There is nothing but barren desert and barren desert and heat haze. Uh, 
There is no sign of the creature. But I can still... You can still sense it. Does it... Uh, can I, like, pinpoint ex exactly where, like, if I start doing weird... Like, it, uh, sensing it out to the east, you face east, it should be down there somewhere, but your, what your brain can see... That's weird. I guess I voice that to everybody, see if they have a better solution. And there, there, there may well be something preventing us from seeing what's actually here. Yeah, I imagine it's something to that effect. Uh, um... How do we feel about just walking down into it? I guess... What shouldn't hurt that? Or what's the worst that could happen? Right. There are many, many things that could happen if we just rush in here. You know, I'll I'll go in front, and then you can kind of tell me if I'm going the right direction. I'll I mean, I'll be right up. behind. Yes, I'll just hold my shield. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so you walk down into like walk down this sand dune towards uh this this heat haze of desert. Uh. Uh, Grim, you're going first, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, make me an intelligent saving throw with advantage. Okay. So, uh, Grim, you are the only person who notices this to start with. You begin walking down, and... <sighs> there's... There's something in your brain that doesn't feel right about this. There's... You can't look directly in front of you. you, you f you're finding your eyes wandering off to the corner of your vision, and you, you're almost finding it difficult to walk in a straight line. Oh. Um, yeah, I guess I'll... Tell the others, guys. I think, I think there's some kind of enchantment on this place. It's it's pushing, like just pushing me away. Yeah. As he says this, you look at his tracks in the sand, and they they are constantly like meandering off to the left. Anyone hmm. have? Spell magic? Well, I have a how... scroll of the spell magic. Okay. Yeah. How about this? I don't look at it, and I walk backwards toward it, and you tell me if I'm walking the right directions, okay, guys? Sure. Okay. Okay. So you're walking backwards towards it with your eyes closed? Um, yes. Everybody make me intelligence saves. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> oh, boy. Cool. So hey, if you're within, if you're within like oh, 10 feet, oh shit, right there, boy. Oh, wow. oh are you? Okay. Yeah, if it helps anybody within 10 feet of me, I don't think it matters. Okay, okay. Uh, Grim, you need to make me another one. No, not for oh, you, I. One. Oh, okay, yeah. I didn't realize. <laughs> ah. Okay. So it's oh, it's, it's, yeah. Oh, yes, it's with advantage. So, uh, V, Claris, Grim. Grim, you walk backwards, and again, something is... You can't walk straight backwards. V and Clarus, he is wobbling all over the place. Oh. To everyone else, it looks like you're walking in a straight line. Mm. Oh, 17, Nina. Seven, uh, no. Yours is 15. Plus 2. Oh, uh, oh no, okay, so yeah, Vondal does as well. Mm -hmm. So actually, it's only Arya it's that doesn't see this. Yeah. Classic Arya. In that you case, uh, no, you're, you're still, still off. Yeah, you're still very much off, actually. Uh, what? Weird. Um. How would 
like I'm am I getting any closer to to the to where we want to go or am I like actually deviating so much that I'm not getting closer? Give me an investigation check. Uh, okay. Shit, we should have had Grim do all the research. Okay. <laughs> yeah, clearly. You, uh, your, your brain is subconsciously as if it's trying to walk around something. Maybe there's something hidden right there. What is it, something hidden? Oh, uh... Or do you... Weird. V, actually, there is there is something else, because you scored high enough. V. Uh... Uh, I won't even bother whispering to you. Um, as you look at the heat haze, there almost seems to be tears to the heat haze. Like hard edges that you can see in the heat haze. Mm. Yeah, there's there's definitely something. Oh, at this point, by the way, Clarice, the spell fades. So. Oh yeah, fair. Something obscuring our vision around here. Things being hidden. Yeah. It's it's probably no more than twenty feet in front of you. Whatever this is. Is it definitely magic? I guess we we might as well we might as well, we can either try and dispel it or we can try and take out some rope and see if we can throw something through it and see what happens. Can I take oh. a dagger and try to throw it in in front of me? Okay, make an intelligence safe and throw. Motherfucker! All right. You know, the last time we tried to do the whole rope thing. Um... Okay, so. Uh, uh, again, Vondal, Vondal, Kolaris, uh, yeah, just, just Von, uh, no, Vondal, Kolaris, Grim. V says, I'm gonna throw a dagger at it, see if I hit anything. Promptly turns to the left and throws a dagger off into the desert. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> mm. Can I just try casting Dispel Magic? You can certainly try. I'd like to try casting Dispel Magic. What level are you casting Dispel Magic at? Um, probably fourth to be safe. Okay. Uh, I need that was definitely not towards the thing. I need to check Dispel Magic. But I was gonna. Oh. That was very left. I, like point to the <laughs> point to the dagger to the left. Oh, can she even see it that way? Um, when you point it out to her, it, yeah, you throw it in the wrong direction, even though you definitely threw it in a straight line. Huh. It bounced off. Yeah, like, you, your brain tries to rationalise what just happened. Oh man, the lag in Roll20 right now is, is real. Rip. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my page, because I think it's because I'm on a page that has dynamic lighting. Yes, it is. Uh, okay, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, I need you to roll me a, a d20 plus your spellcasting mod. Cool. Oh! oh okay. Good roll. So. Nice. Uh, Vondal goes through the incantation to cast Dispel Magic. Casts Dispel Magic. And in front of you, the heat haze peels backwards to reveal a three tiered ziggurat. Oh, shit. Uh, made of sandstone. Uh, and it is literally like you almost like. You're. There's like a fog that clears from your brain as you see this thing in front of you. It's literally like 20 feet in front of you. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's certainly something. Some people were hiding things. Oh, Indeed. Observation. I love it. 
he did a good job of trying. Well, shall we enter? Uh, looking at it from the outside, uh, it appears to have some very large steps that lead up to uh, like a, a little hut on the top. The rest of it doesn't seem to be able to be entered. I guess we'll walk up to the hut. Or I will, I'll, I'll start walking up to the hut. Uh, do you really okay, want to do well, that? Let's go to here. I think it's gonna work out for the best. Okay. You should be able to now Are see you a, sure about that? a map. Are you sure? Nope, I can see a black screen. Oh, yeah, it's very black. I see the abyss. Oh, okay. Right. Well, I can see I might... like our tokens at the edge of the blackness. I can't even see that. You can't even see that. Interesting. Uh, I, I might... see no token. I may have cocked up something. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, none of these tokens have sight. I don't know how I've done that. Uh... I'm blind! I, I will fix that briefly whilst I explain what happens to Grim. For Bye, fuck's Grim. sake. Um, Bye, Grim. We just looked at something that uh, clearly had an illusion cast on it. And you're just like, oh, I'm just going to go up the stairs. Grim, can you make me a dexterity saving throw as you attempt to walk up the stairs? <laughs> cool. uh, oh, boy. How much dark vision do you guys have again? It's 60 uh, feet, isn't it? 60. Yeah. Oh, Grim. Grim. Fucking hell. Uh, okay. So... There we go. Now I see us. Uh, yeah, hang on, I'm, I'm, I'll do it in a second. It's one by one, I guess. Uh, okay. Grim, you take 15 force damage oh as you walk face first into a barrier that, with about as much force as it took you to step into it, it propels you backwards down the stairs. Well, good thing I'm resistant to force damage, so... What you are resistant to force damage. Uh, 15 high would be 7. Okay. Nice. Well, not nice, but it's... Yeah, that wasn't very... That wasn't very, that wasn't very smart of you, Grim. I, uh, I have to... I, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to give it a go. But, um... See, if you just maybe, if you just took maybe five seconds to think about it before you had to go, yeah. well, could have saved yourself a bit of trouble. It's barely a scratch. It's like, you know, it's the feeling when you walk into a wall. It's not pleasant, and this one might be a little bit more painful than usual, but it's perfectly avoidable. Uh, yeah, it is exactly like you just walked into a wall, but it threw you backwards. Like can, but I can't see the like. It's not like I could see the wall, so I'd probably have walked into it anyway. Yes, but we also could have. Well, we could have taken a moment to go. Well, hang on. Maybe there's something else a bit iffy going on here. And what would you have done? Would you have like literally oh. thrown rocks or whatever oh. every step of the way? I'm just saying, you don't have to walk headfirst into every problem you find. Fighting. How far? How far did he get up the steps? Uh, pr probably no more than like uh three feet up. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure if you if you look at our record, that's not. Oh no! I tell a lie. More like six feet up, actually. Uh, okay. But okay. let's uh, let's focus on the issue at hand. Uh. Hmm. How do we get around this wall? Or can we get just get around it? Uh, you should almost all now have visibility and be able to move your tokens. I'm just doing Helena now. What's up? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, feel free to wander around. Well, shall we? Uh, shall we have a look uh, at the back or around the temple? Since this entrance is blocked. Try. 
Bond all. Um, <laughs> way, way ahead. Way ahead of you. Um. That doesn't appear to be like, you. What? That doesn't appear to be another set of st set of what looks like stairs over here. Um. Also, before you wander off too far, make sure there isn't another get lost haze thingy. I will. Is that um? Well, I guess we'll we should probably. Nah, we'll find. We'll figure it out. But, like we should mark this entrance somehow. I highly doubt this is the only way in. Uh, it's more in case we get lost, I guess. Well, yeah. Well, so we have a look on this side then. Oh, another set of stairs. Although they seem smaller than the, the sets on the center. Yeah. Uh, yes, the uh, the ones on the north and south face are uh, m ever so slightly slimmer. Uh, although it looks like the ones on the east and the west faces do slim up as they go towards the uh, top of the ziggurat. Um, you know, I'll walk over to the stairs and like swing my uh, swing my morning star around to see if I hit uh, a wall. Uh, yeah, you get to about the same place that you did last time, and you bounce off a wall of force. Well, mm. walls on all sides by the looks of it. I have to wonder it. how high these walls go, because maybe I could fly over them, but if I can't mm. see them, then there's a chance that I would just get blown backwards, probably. Mm. So, very hard. Let's try something. I'll just grab some sand off the floor and throw it into the wall. Uh, you grab a handful of sand, you throw it at the wall, it is ejected back at you, and you get a face full of sand. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't very smart of you. Wow. It, is, it is ejected slightly more than I had hoped, but now I'm just going to try and throw it that direction as high as I can. Okay. And, like, over it. If it well, if that is at all possible. Uh, you throw it as high as you can get it, it, it doesn't seem to. Okay, so... Um... Can you just, can you just dispel walls, of course? Or do you, can you break them? Anybody, what, what do we, what do we know about walls? Invisible walls? That's an excellent question. That is a very good question. And we... What do we know about magical invisible walls that force things back at us? Uh, roll me arcana checks. Yeah. Oh. Okay, nice. whatever, Grim's got so it. I was gonna say, why is Grim the one asking? Okay. Well, like, just making sure we get all the knowledge, but, you know... Alright, I'll roll as well. Nope. Like, it's not... it's... I, I don't get advantage, so it's not an actual 20. Well, can't. So no, no crits today. From your knowledge of, uh, from your knowledge of magic, you know that uh, conjuring impenetrable walls of force is a feat of significant magical ability. Uh, it's generally only capable of being done by very, very powerful wizards or very, very strong magic beings. Um, as far as you are aware, there is no way to dispel a wall of force. It can only be disabled by whatever caused it in the first place. Well, shit. Well, I hope any of you have this. Actually... Um... Uh... Where does the does the wall continue along the ziggurats? I'll just use sand to determine if it's like. Uh, yeah, what? you you continue to throw sand as you go around. Uh, it's yeah, about six uh, about six feet up uh, on the the thing of the ziggurat, it just bounces off the the thing. Perhaps we will have to return here at a later date. Find another way in. 
didn't you get a name? Uh, Seth or something? Well, that was the, um... The dagger. Speaking oh, yeah, of which... Dagger. Well, speaking of which, if, what happens if I cast Locate Object, thinking of the dagger? Okay, you cast now. Locate Object, thinking of the dagger. Uh, it is somewhere above you on the top of the ziggurat. Um... Right, so there we go, that answers that question. Well, we, at least we know why nobody's just gone in and taken it. Is there still a creature inside? Yeah, I was gonna um, cast it again to okay, see. Okay, tune with the staff. Yeah. They are inside on the second floor. On the second floor. Uh, guys, since we can't get ourselves in, I have an idea. How yeah. about we just yell and try and insult who's ever in there <laughs> into getting out? That, that sounds like a terrible idea. Oh my god. Any better ideas? <laughs> literally like... anything else? <laughs> you mean like... Yeah, I was gonna say, literally anything else for that. Yeah, you mean like, going away and, you know, saying, Hey, we found out where they're based. I will... We found out where they've, where they've been hiding. We, but we can't get in. I will and point out, out a different way to get in. I will point out you've examined exactly one side of this temple. Also that too. Yeah, let's try walking to the far side. I mean, I would assume the wall of force goes all the way around, but okay. well, like, well, how else would they get check, in? They checked this side already for the wall of force. Well, so. How else would they get in? So That's true. They have, well, they have to get in somehow. Well, there might be a back entrance. I guess that's an option. Oh yeah, maybe there's like a like a oh. hatch underground or something. Let's. Yeah. Oh, okay. Shall we yeah, split let's... up to zoo and just circle around it? Uh, let's. Uh, I think we should stay together just in case. So you're going around and looking to see if you see anything. Uh, we're gonna go to the back issue. Yeah, like the far side. Okay. Uh, everybody, give me perception checks as you walk around looking for things. Grim, you appear to be on the wall. Oh, what? Yeah. oh, I'm... oh no! Uh, sorry, the. Uh, the wall is where the vision blocker is. The thing you're standing on there is a rough sandstone floor. Oh, like I thought as well. Oh, okay. Good. I wasn't, I wasn't completely foolish. Okay. As you walk past the set of stairs to the north, V, you notice something. Very faintly, uh, about ten feet from the bottom of the stairs on the western side, there is a very faint, almost indistinguishable in the sunshine, sigil. Am I the only one whose roll twenty is like lagging to shit? By the way, uh, it is like I think it's because no, of uh, dynamic lighting. Okay. Oh, so on is... the western side, there's a sigil. Yes. So that's this side. Uh, well, uh, I will point it with the the ruler thing where it, exactly where it is. Yo, there's some funky lighting going on right oh. now. And I don't oh, know it's up there. It's up. The western side of the stairs. Yes, yeah, uh, western side of the stairs in the north. Oh. oh. Well, well. We were almost, almost. So yeah, V, you can see you see a sigil barely visible in the sunlight. Okay. Uh, what what does it look like? Give me a intelligence check. I'm so good at intelligence. Okay. You swear you've seen this symbol before. You have no idea what it means, but you are 100% certain it looks exactly like uh, when you were in the demiplane. There was some writing on the wall in the temple where you slept, and it looks exactly the same. Guys, look at this. There's like a, there's like a symbol here. Hmm. Let us consider the sigil. Okay, you consider the sigil. None of you can understand it, except for Arya. Called it. Oh, <laughs> yep. What does it say? It says, in abyssal. 
password. Uh, I guess it's on the others. I think we need a password. Mm. That would that would make password. sense. Yeah, I know. Have you tried password? <laughs> if their password is password, I'll be. Well, like well. in Abyssal, it's not everybody. Most people can't actually speak Abyssal, so. That's also true. I suppose if you say password in Abyssal, it's slightly different. I mean, I try both of those things. What I you try? try saying it in common, and I try saying it in Abyssal. <laughs> Okay. Password in common. Password. No. Yeah. None, none of those things work. Dang. Seth? Nothing happens. Are we sure it's something that you have to say? Maybe you have to write it down? Mm. I don't know. Give me an intelligence check. Mm. Ooh. God, guys, my rolls are so good. <laughs> nice. Okay. V, looking at it and the way this, this rune is on the surface, it looks almost like you can trace the symbol? What do you mean, trace? Uh, like, um, as, as if somebody has, like, run their hand across the wall. Like, um, the, the sigil is like exists there, but it, there's almost like a very fine, like, uh, like uh, damage to the stonework where like it's been worn away in the shape of the sigil. Okay, can I trace the sigil on the? Okay, wall, I guess? you trace the sigil, and the stone block in front of you slides backwards and inwards. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah. Uh. Oh shit. And reveals. Da 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 da. Oh, this Boom. is like the uh <laughs> Actually, I suppose this should be a da 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 whatever. Yeah. It's kind of secret. We haven't, we haven't opened the chest. I've got an idea. Because this is frustratingly slow. What? Um, I can see, like, the whole dungeon. Oh, yeah. can you? Whoops. Yeah. Close your eyes. Ah, spoilers. My eyes uh, are closed. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, I know how to fix it. Yeah, okay, I just... I will just delete. Oh, fuck. That's not... yeah. I will just delete the lighting tokens, and you'll have to imagine what the lighting on the inside looks like. <laughs> uh, okay, can you no longer see the rest of the dungeon? Nope, still see it. Still oh, see. Yeah, still okay. see fucking everything. I think uh, it's basically, like, you can see 60 feet it is, I think. Yeah, well, we can see down to the stairs. Oh, now, well, now, yeah, now, now you can everything. see everything. Now, now we see can... literally everything. Oh, hang on. There should be a way to refresh this. Now I see half of everything. And also, um, Rob, I want to show you like what it looks like to me at the moment, because it also kind of looks weird. I feel like there's... Well, I don't know how to say this, but I'll just fucking screenshot it. Okay, I fucked something up here. Something is fucked. Oh. oh. Oh yeah, that's also how it looks from. What? <laughs> but with, but with oh, less no. like things on the side. Like I only have one of the bits on the on the right. Oh side. really? <laughs> yeah. Oh no. We get so what? I guess the, the, uh, the three of us with dark vision could basically see everything inside the dungeon. Uh, 
should we take a small recording break then? Yeah, let's let's take a little break while I sort this out. <laughs> <laughs>